Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going through the process of processing two sets of recalls. I have a recall here in the Ford Mach-E. It has to have its windshield and glass roof removed and resealed and also software updated called a customer improvement or customer requested software update at the dealer done. I got to set that up and then I'm going to go ahead and set up the two recalls that appeared for my Model 3 Performance and my wife's Model S. So let's get to it. This is the mobile app. And if we look here in the top left, we'll see that it says recalls. Let's have a look there. All right, it shows me we have two recalls, which happen to be the same recalls here in the paper. And we can see the first one there is about the glass roof. The second one, of course, shows us about the windshield. So after I receive the initial recall shown here on my app, I waited for a written recall to show up in the mail, and this is what it looks like. Essentially, the paper email shows the exact same thing. It tells me that I need to uh, get it repaired and gave me instructions on what to do. So it appears that even though I have a recall, I went over to my local Ford dealer and the local Ford dealer told me they don't do any of that work and referred me to another Ford dealer that they normally send their vehicles to some 45 miles south. So I'm going to get on the phone and we'll talk to Ford and see what they have to say. Maybe they'll send me to another competent Ford dealer in the area that's capable of doing this recall work. All right, and back to the main screen here in the Mach-E. Let's go ahead and see now uh, what the Ford folks have to say. Let's give them a call here. And uh, for privacy, I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio uh, from uh, the person I call in Ford. Uh, certainly, I don't want to embarrass anybody, and I don't want to put them on here. So I may play some music while we do this, but I'll do this uh, now, and uh, we'll see if we can get this going. I'm going to go ahead and call uh, Ford, and uh, let's see what we have to say here. Let's see. Call 866-436-7332. 866-436-7332, right? Yes. Wow, it's all that. Thank you for calling the Ford Motor Company. For English, press 1. Para ser atendido en español, marque 2. For more information about recalls, you may visit owner.ford.com or owner.lincoln.com and select the Service and Maintenance tab. You may also download the Ford Pass or Lincoln Way app or visit your nearest Ford or Lincoln dealership for more information. If you are calling in response to a recall or customer satisfaction program letter, please press 1. To hear about recalls for your vehicle using... Please locate the five-digit recall number at the top of the letter and enter it now using your keypad. For example, if your recall number is 12F34, please enter the numbers 1, 2, 7 for the letter F, 3 and 4 now. Please locate the five-digit recall number at the top of the letter and enter it now using your keypad. For example, for the record, one two F thirty-four. Please enter the numbers one, two, seven for the letter F, three and four now. We did not recognize that entry. Please enter the five-digit recall number again. Two, one, seven, four, two. We unfortunately do not have additional information about that recall in our system. 
For more information about recalls, you may visit okay. owner.ford.com or owner.lincoln.com and select the Service and Maintenance tab. You may also download the Ford Pass or Lincoln Way app for more information. For more information about recalls or to submit a refund request, please contact your dealership. So am I crazy? Allow six to eight weeks for reimbursement. Two one S four two already been here for and two one Charlie twenty two. Please press one. Your call is being transferred to a representative for assistance. Okay. Contacts made to or from the Customer Relationship Center will be monitored or recorded for quality or training purposes. For more information on our privacy practices and for California residents to exercise your rights under the California Consumer Privacy Act, go to Ford.com. To better serve and understand our customers, we would like to ask you a few questions regarding your experience with us. When your call is completed, please remain on the line to participate in a brief survey. Please hold for the next available representative. Hello, thank you for calling Ford Motor Company. This okay, there you have it. Ford was helpful. I talked to uh, a guy named, uh, I'll change his name. All right, recall appointment set up at the local dealer here. I found a dealer through the guy that I spoke to, Fred, which isn't his real name, at Ford. Very helpful guy. He checked around, located a dealer that is capable of doing the recall here in the Mach-E, located up in Hendersonville. Uh, he had the guy on the line, and I talked to John, not his real name, and was very helpful in setting up an appointment. He shared with me that they have an outside company that comes into the dealership to do the recall work for the roof and the windshield. So that's cool. Uh, I'll be going up there this month and uh, get this work done. Uh, one thing I didn't ask uh, John, uh, I'm assuming that they will also be updating the software, and I'm pretty sure that uh, John didn't realize that. So I'm going to give him a call back uh, off camera here and make sure that they're capable of doing the uh, software update as well. So with that, that's what's involved in getting a recall done here in the Ford Mach-E. I guess that's SOP or standard operating procedure here uh, when you call all uh, Ford uh, to do it. Seems pretty efficient. Uh, it went along pretty nice. So there you go. On to uh, the next recall. I actually have a, a couple recalls uh, that I've heard through Twitter in the Tesla. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead and document that too. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. We can actually do that right here uh, in the, uh, the Mach-E. Uh, and I don't need to call anybody. I actually uh, fire up my app here, as you can see. Let's go down to service. We want to request service here on the top. Uh, select the service, something else, describe we have recall uh, for back up camera. Okay. Don't need to send anything. I'm pretty sure they know what that is. Uh, current location. Yes, this is my current location. And we'll do that. There, that's how we do it. And uh, we'll set it for 10 o'clock. We'll do next. It's at Matthews. And uh, something else. Because I'm going to now request. Uh, recall. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Something else. Here. Request mobile service. That's handy. Uh, Brian uh, is the local service guy, and I'm going to say confirm. And uh, they're real good about getting back to me here and letting me know. All right, so let's request service. Okay, there we go. 
That's as hard as it is to um, set up the recall. They'll either schedule me at the Matthews if mobile is not available, or they will allow me to uh, have the mobile guy. So I'm going to go ahead and now uh, get out of here. No, I don't. Okay, then we're just going to back up now. And uh, as we go down here to service, we can see that uh, there is mobile service upcoming appointment here. So that works out okay. All right, so there you go. That's how I schedule service on a Tesla. Uh, makes it very easy. Uh, they will now send me a text into my inbox. My inbox is right here. And uh, they will communicate with me here on the inbox here on the Tesla app. And uh, we'll set up a final time of exactly where and when we are going to be doing what we're supposed to. Well, there you go. That is mobile app, and that's exactly how you do a recall. Now, I've got a recall on my wife's Model S. The front latch needs uh, work. As you can see, we've got uh, new software for that as well. Let's do a service recall for my wife's car. Same thing. We'll go down to uh, other, and uh, we want something else. I come up here, and I put recall, recall, question, request, mobile, service, at same time as Model 3 service. All right, so that's what I do there. I click Next. Okay, put in the address. We're all set to go. And uh, I'll go ahead and say OK. There you go. Service request submitted. That's as hard as it is. Not difficult at all. And I can come down, I go to service, and I can see that we have a pending service now for my wife's front latch. Hard as it is. All right, well, there you have it. I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully the uh, Mach-E will be... Uh, repaired and updated and uh, of course the Tesla's uh, the fix is in from the app so we're all good so essentially that's really the two different ways we do recalls in these two different cars Ford requests uh, you call uh, service or visit your local dealer I tried visiting my local dealer and apparently they uh, don't do those things and referred me to another dealer. I instead, per the manual, or I should say per the letter, a recall letter, I uh, called the Ford rep. He uh, contacted a local guy that can do it here. I talked to them and we're all set to go. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, go ahead and click a like. Click subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. And as a reminder, go ahead and forward some of my links to your friends. They might just enjoy my videos also. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.